Good morning. You are welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Ajayi. First, the headlines. You are telling lies. I surrendered myself for interrogation. Yaya Belo Test Crimes Commission. Now, the news in full. The former court governor of Kogi State, Yaya Belo, has accused the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, of telling lies that he did not surrender himself for interrogation on Wednesday to the commission. It was reported that the aid of the embattled Belo in a statement, which was second to be issued on his appearance at the commission headquarters, emphasized that he, Yaya Belo, was accompanied by his successor, Governor Usman Ododo. The aide, Oya Remike, in a statement claimed that on arrival at the headquarters of the Commission Abuja, Federal Capital Territory, said rather than interrogate him, he was asked to take his leave, stressing that such order was not yet clear to him. The EFCC did not, however, interrogate him as officials told him he could leave. We don't know what this means yet. As we write, E. Aladi Ayabilu has left the EFCC office. It was accompanied there by the governor of Kogi State, E. Alaji Ahmed Usman Ododo. The statement read. The former governor, who is currently facing 80.2 billion fraud allegation, was declared wanted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, which lasted for about five months. Meanwhile, it is recorded that few hours after Bilo's first statement declaring that he honored the commission's invitation, was reported by several news outlets on Wednesday, a crimes commission issued a test statement to deny having him in their custody. That will be all on our news updates this morning. Join us for more stories on our channels, Flip TV, Flip TV Plus. My name is Victor Ajayi. Good morning.